Okay, this is the SPM MX Paper 2 uh, for year 2012, which is this year. And this is question number 9. Okay, this is the question for solution of triangle. Okay, so in this chapter, before I start, I just introduce two of the very important formula, which is going to use those formula later. Okay, let's say this is the length A, B, and C. Okay, I call the angle on it, uh, like opposite the C is a capital C. This is capital A, and this is capital B. Okay, this is the angle inside. Okay, let's say, okay, let's say you want to find, uh, let's say you want to find the length C. Okay, he got a call. Uh, got a formula they call it cos rule which is c square will equal to okay this is c this is small c yes? the length c square will equal to a square which is a square plus b square minus 2 multiple a multiple b multiple cos c cos c which is capital c which is you you want to find this length you, you a square plus b square and then minus 2 multiple a multiple b multiple cos c angle okay therefore from this formula actually if you want to find the angle c how to find we rearrange the formula i move the whole thing here and then i move the c over here so it become 2 a b cos c will equal to a square plus b square minus c square and then if I want to calculate angle C, so I just move 2AB on the bottom. So A square plus B square minus C square over 2AB. Okay, this is the very important formula here. Okay, at the same time, he got a very similar formula with this rule, which is, we call it, okay, to find the area of triangle. Or area of triangle okay actually they are very similar cause they also use like cost rule cost rule they they use one side two side and angle on between this one area of triangle also same he used one side two side one side two side angle in between so it's half multiple a multiple b and then multiple angle in between but then this one is size c two side multiple angle in between a b multiple angle in between this one c square will equal to a square plus b square minus 2 a b multiple angle in between okay these two formula is very important to solve uh, in order to solve this question okay so we come back to the question okay so in this question okay you will okay the diagram 9 show the sector poq of a circle Okay, center O with the radius 16 cm. Mean this is radius, this is radian, this is 16, and this is 16 cm. Okay, point R line on OP. Point R will lie on the straight line OP. So it's given that OR and QR is 10. OR and QR, this is 10, 10. Okay, so in, in this, okay, I just roughly draw out the triangle. Okay, something look like this. Okay, this is shared region. This is R. This is P. This is Q. This is O. This is the angle they want to find. And then it's given the radius is 16. That means the length for here is 16 also. And then also he gives us here is 10. Here is 10. So we know here actually is 6. It's 6 centimeter because this one is 16. 16. Okay, and then now we want to find what? So calculate the va values of angle in the radian. Mean he want to calculate, he want to calculate the angle. So mean he want to calculate this angle in radian. Okay, and then correct to three decimal place. Okay, so therefore, okay, now we calculate this angle. Okay, we got three sides. So I just apply the formula which I mentioned just now, which is this formula. 
Okay, I just apply this formula into it. Okay, so okay. So I cause call, call this one cause angle. Okay, therefore cause angle will equal to okay two side is sixteen square plus ten square minus c square. Okay, which is opposite one is ten square divided by two a b two a b sixteen and ten. Okay, which is the formula? If you are not so sure about this formula, you can go back to the reference book in the solution of triangle. I think this is something they call it cost rule. Okay, so I just press a calculator to to solve this one. So cost angle will equal to okay. 10 square minus 10 square, we got 16 square, okay. So 16 square divided by 2 multiple 16 multiple 10. So we will got answer is 4 over 5. So angle will equal to, okay, shift angle, shift cost answer will equal to 36 over Okay, X seven angle. Okay, this is in angle, and then they want the answer in radian. This is mean this is in degree. They want the answer in radian, so we have to change to radian. So how to change the radian? We have to multiply pi divided by hundred eighty. Okay, in order to change the radian, so I just multiply pi divided by 180 so you want three decimal place so it will be 0 0.644 radian okay got it because this is degree you just multiply pi divided by 180 you can change the radian okay then we go to the second question he want to calculate the parameter of the shared region okay the parameter of the shared region mean this area Okay, we got these two already. We need to find QP. Okay, obviously QP is the arts of the sector QOP. So in order to calculate QP, okay, QP which is, I call it S, will equal to R data. R is 16 and then angle will be 0 0.644. Okay, this is also the formula for, for the arts uh, lab. R P Q means for the art of the sector lah. Okay, so it will be 16 multiple 0 0.644. Okay, and then I got 10.304. They use CM, yes, CM. So therefore, the parameter of set region will be, you plus all together, this one here will be 10. Oh, here will be 10, here will be 6 plus 6 plus 10.304 cm. So I plus 16. The answer will be 26.304 cm, which is the parameter of the shared region. Okay, and then last but not least, he asks you to calculate the area of the shared region. So you want to calculate the area, will be very simple. You have to calculate the area of the sector and then minus the area of the triangle. Okay, area of the triangle, which is what we learned just now, is 1 over 2 AB sin C. Okay, means we got, okay, we got AB sin C. Okay, so, so I just do it here. Okay. Okay, I just move up a bit. Okay, later we come back this one. So we calculate the area of triangle first. So area of triangle OQR. Okay, this is which the OQR. We calculate this OQR first. So will be so what's the formula? Will be half A B ten multiple sixteen multiple sine sine angle. Okay, this one because sine, so if you haven't changed your calculator to radian, so you, may, you better put it in degree because later uh, if you put it in radian, you will got the different value. So, okay, we, we put the degree one, 36.87 degree. Okay, then just press the calculator. 
Okay. Okay. Five multiple sixteen multiple size thirty six point eight seven. Okay, I will got is forty eight cm square. Okay, which is this area, and then we have to find the sector of the big sector. Okay, sector uh, area of sector OQP OQP. Mean we calculate the whole sector. The formula will be one over two R square theta. Okay, one over two R is sixteen square. Theta is zero point six four four. Is it zero point six four four? Yeah, zero point six four four. Then we have got sixteen square divided by two, and then multiple zero point six four four. Okay, the answer will be. Eighty-two point four three two cm square. So he want the area of shared region. Uh, shared region. So you just use the big region minus the smaller one. So it will be eighty-two point four three two minus forty-eight. Then we will got minus forty-eight. We will got thirty-four. Point four three two. That's all for the section A, B, and C. Actually, if you look properly, it's very simple. First, he asks you to calculate the radian. He gives you three length. Mean you just apply the cos rule. You can get the angle. After that, he asks you to calculate the perimeter of the shared region. Very simple because he gives you here and here already. So you just need to find the arc QP. After that, he asks you to find the shared region, uh, area of shared region. You just use the big sector minus this triangle. Of course, you need to understand about the formula. Then only you can solve this question. Okay. Thanks for watching.